morning good morning and welcome back to good morning tobago right here on tobago updates we are continuing our conversation and this morning we're talking all about poverty alleviation education outreach and to have that conversation with me this morning i have two wonderful ladies but before we get into that we are chatting with dr avril dolly who is the chairman of the board of social responsibility for tobago good morning and welcome morning um Dr. Viviana Mata, Vice Chair, Dr. All right. Dolly Wright. Yes. She's coming in as well. No, um, Claudia Groom, Duke former Secretary of Health. She's the second person who's coming All in. All right, so give yes. us your title one more time. Dr. Vivian Amata. Right, Dr. Right. And I'm the Vice Chair of the Right, group. you are the Vice Chair. Right. Good morning and welcome. This Thank morning you. we are talking about the Poverty Alleviation Education Campaign. Uh, tell us a bit about that. So the Board of Social Responsibility is an arm of the Anglican Church, and we are focused on social justice, poverty alleviation, um, women and gender issues, crime, youth, you know. And uh, um, this particular drive, this particular initiative, initiative took place in Trinidad. They had two um, events, and now we are the third arm, and then... They go back to Northeast Trinidad for the final one. So the bishop, Bishop Claude Berkeley, the bishop of the Anglican Diocese of Trinidad, he will be coming to open the event. And it's going to be at the Esplanade this Thursday morning, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So anyone you know who is we really targeting young people, because life is much harder for youth now than it was back in my days. And uh, um, so anyone you know who's struggling in whatever way, whether it is family, work, unemployment, encourage them to come. We are going to have uh, um, various, we are partnering with a number of civil society organizations. So they're going to have booths there to showcase what they have to offer in terms of educational opportunities, social outreach opportunities, and so on. So we have um, some of the divisions like agriculture, health, tourism, and um, we have some of the educational places such as um, THTI, MIC, CCC. We have the agribusiness people. So come, don't give up on life. Right. Yeah. And um, so what, coming to the event at the Esplanade on Tuesday, you said it starts at 9 and it goes straight. Until to, 3 p.m. Until 3. Right. So when we talk about poverty alleviation, we are talking about poverty alleviation through education only or through a number of channels and programs that are available mm -hmm. for persons to take advantage mm -hmm. of. Right. So we'll be giving out hampers, but we also want to equip you with the skills to be able to sustain a decent lifestyle. So our theme is reimagining um, dignity through sustainability. All right. Excellent. Well, we're going to take a quick break here and we'll be back as we continue our conversation. See you soon. Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to Good Morning Tobago right here on Tobago Updates. This morning, we have been talking about the poverty alleviation education campaign and all that's happening. So um, previously in our discussions, we indicated that the event would be taking place on Thursday at the Esplanade. However, it's going to be on Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. But joining us this morning, we have Mrs. <laughs> Claudia Groom Duke, as well as Dr. Vivian, who is the vice chair. Good morning and welcome good morning and good morning to Beagle. <laughs> right and so um tell us about the conceptualization behind this event and the organiz a bit about the organization that's putting it on uh, the in terms of the conceptualization as you know the mandate of the board of social responsibility is all about um Christian education. It is about um, empowering our people with the Holy Spirit um, in terms of our way of life and therefore their outreach programs, education programs, uh, social programs for the vulnerable and the disabled and therefore um, we reach out to our congregation, our parishes, our churches 
and the community. Therefore, this particular program, the theme is uh, reimagining dignity through sustainability. Reimagining dignity through sustainability. And in this regard, this program uh, chose to bring all institutions that touch the empowerment of our, our people. And therefore, uh, I know Dr. would have spoken about the institutions, and you'd know why, because it provides the opportunity for our development, for empowerment of our people in terms of their lifestyle and, and how they grow. And it must be sustainable. And therefore, this, this program really is, is more than just an outreach program. It, it is really empowering um, our people. And of course, it is about strengthening our, our life, strengthening the Holy Spirit in us, within us. I think it's important to recognize mm -hmm. that it's spiritual warfare. Yes. That's what we're dealing with here in Tobago right now. It's spiritual warfare, and we need to get into the minds of persons to know, don't give up. There, there is, I just want to share a little story. 36 years ago, when I was doing my final exams, and one of the papers, I was like, I can't pass this. And I stayed in the car park crying. And one of the invigilators, one of the surgeons, he came outside. The exam started. He came outside. And he stood up there in the car park and he prayed with me. And then he took, after I calmed down, took me inside. About, the exam, about 20 minutes had already passed. And the paper was easy. I passed. It's all in the mind. And that's what this whole initiative is about. Getting into people's minds and letting them think differently. Right. Mm -hmm. Who are some of the... Um the organizations that have invited youth to the event because we know that mm -hmm. um, on Friday between 9 to, to 3, 3 p.m., mm -hmm. some persons may be um, at work, some may even be in school. So tell us a bit about that. Right. So it's, it's, all of this is the Anglican Church. So we are the hosts and we have invited and who the persons who have agreed to come. We have the um, CCC. MIC, THTI, TADCO, TTPS, um, agrobusiness, uh, settlements. I'm trying to remember Edu what Education, community development, yes, tourism. Yes. Right. So the uh, agriculture is to try to reach out to persons within the Scarborough area or persons from throughout. throughout. The and if people from Trinidad want to come, they are welcome, welcome to come. Too. Yes. Throughout. We want to spread the good news to everybody. Excellent. So what about the other churches? Are the other churches invited to send members of their congregation? Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Invited all. Of course. Right. So all At a matter of fact, we're looking for more than 200 uh, persons in terms of our target population at the Esplanade. Right. And uh, outside of um, being here on Tobago Bliss this morning, do you have a Facebook page or... And where yes. can persons reach out to get the information? Um, we've just been spreading it on social media through chats and so on. So and no, so we on. don't have a no. Facebook, but there's the Anglican Outlook. The Anglican Outlook has a, um, a page, so it would be on that. Yes. All right. Excellent. Thank you so much. So, guys, you can be a part of this event or invite someone who you know to yeah. be a part of this event this Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And that is at the Scarborough Esplanade. And they are talking all things poverty eradication and alleviation. So all those programs that are available here in Tobago, whether it be through housing, through education, through business grants, through agriculture, all of those things are going to be on display at the Scarborough Esplanade for you and for the general public to be a part of that. Now, if you are part of a group or no groups who may be interested in visiting and, you know, having their members present there, just reach out. So what is the contact number? Um, my producer can put the flyer on the screen again and we can get that number so you can contact them and reach out to them if you are interested in bringing a group to the event. 
and so you see the number is on the flyer there and that number is 639-2972 that's 639-2972 and you can reach out to them and let them know that your group is interested in being a part of the event and you would be facilitated so guys we're going to take a quick break right here and we're going to be back with lots more conversation right after this see you soon it's a brand new 